Then we have another day one supporter. My guy, my friend, Mr. Aaron H. Muhammad. Manager Marty asked this gentleman if he holds Bud accountable for aligning himself with people who raises suspicions with his skill level. That's the question for you, Mr. Anthony. Do you hold Bud Crawford accountable this, this, for aligning what, himself? Let me let me ask the question first. Well, ready, for aligning ready himself for <laughs> with people like Daniel Kennanhan, Victor Conti, and some other people that has a shady past who raises suspicions with the skill level that Bud Crawford has. Do you hold Bud Crawford accountable for that? I just and I explained to you from the beginning about redemption. So if, it's a lot of people who align themselves with me. And I would hate for people to say that because they align themselves with me in, in, in my past. If you ever Google me, you'll see it. But I've changed. And a lot of people can will attest to the change. So, no, I, I hold, you know, he could be with, as long as he, I don't see him doing something wrong or, or find out that he was involved in something wrong, I, there's nothing to hold him accountable for. As long as he doesn't do anything wrong. The minute he does something wrong, I'm going to call him I, on I, it. I'm going to call him on it. If he but does, I if but you, I'm I respect disappointed. It. But wrong is wrong and right is right. Mm -hmm. As long as he doesn't do I anything I know that's illegal, right. That's the kind of guy like. I, you know, I'm, I, I call a spade a spade. I got, I got, that's good. I appreciate um, the integrity that you have to do so. I got another question for you, but I have uh, one another day one supporter of mine. She's here, always making me smile, always encouraging me. Diana, thank you for your contribution and your support to the channel, Diana. Diana says, my brother, can we stop with that? It is bud who put himself where he is why don't we ask bud why would he put himself here that's another question for you anthony i mean everybody's blaming manager marty for Man. um starting the trend hold let me finish everybody's blaming manager marty for starting the trend okay great i started a trend on youtube wow whoop de do i'm famous who cares all i'm saying is we're just reacting to what bud crawford is doing and we reacted to the Netflix documentary that came out that basically showed that there's a, a cloud of suspicion that still uh, follows Victor Conti around for over 20 years. And Bob Crawford is with him on the snack program. I, I don't say, see the issue here. I'm going to say this to you. Like, well, you know, she says Bud put himself wherever. And that's why I said what I said from the beginning about redemption. And, and I, I'll never stop because I know... I hate when people think that way because when when somebody sees somebody with me, do they? Do you, these people will tell you. Most people who know me will tell you I'm a good, decent man. I take care of my mother who has cancer. I took care of my father when he had cancer after I coming out of prison. And most people they text me daily and they 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 basically give me a lot of love and respect for what I do. And when you see somebody, when they see other people with me, they don't immediately think about that they're probably doing something wrong like I used to do in my past because they know my present. Yeah, and that's what you. I'm saying about Victor Conti. I know All his right. present. I don't. I know about his past, but I also know his present. Yeah. And, no, I got and, you, and, and and my, and like I said, it, you, you know, people can think whatever they want to think about, but that they have their right to think it. I was just saying to you because I felt that as a person, it was your, you know, as as a person who had the ears of people. And the eyes of people to 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 basically kind of throw that cloud of suspicion because it wasn't really there until you and I'm not saying you know I don't want to like blame you like I don't want to do that but you are and it's but, okay I, but I don't want to but I'm just saying <laughs> it created it created a a, a a a a way for a lot of um EJ fans to just come out and try to you know diminish the man's accomplishments. I Even more. And that's all let I'm saying. Read, but, you know, read, they have their right read, to their opinion. I got you. Let me read this other super chat. I have a question for you. Gerald Sims, salute to you, Gerald. Thank you for your contribution and your support to the channel. Gerald Sims says, Bud's friend did confirm that he went over to the snack program to get help with Earl Spence. That was the words of LC, who I was referring to earlier when I asked you, did you see that pod, my podcast uh, episode when he came on here and I'm sure you did and you heard what he said and, and you're it. saying you're saying that LC you can't confirm whether he's a friend or not of never Crawford. seen him before but, great but we heard him say that um uh, uh so uh, Crawford went over there in 2021 to prepare for Earl Spence we heard his friend LC say it, that we, we can't say a, that's his friend it's not it's not confirmed okay, no that's problem. his friend 
I know, no problem. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. And, and, and you're someone who's been through the penal system, that's what you said, and you Absolutely. understand about redemption. So I have a question for you, and this is from one person that's gone through legal issues in my past to you. If you committed a crime on, let's say, 12th Street, five years go by, and people see you on 12th Street again, would you say, even though you may have changed your life around, but you're still standing on 12th Street, would you say it's log logical and just natural as an inclination to be able to assume naturally that because Anthony was on 12th Street when he committed this crime five years ago, he's back on 12th Street again, isn't it natural to assume that maybe Anthony is back to his old tricks since he's still on 12th Street again? Well, it's just, I'm with you by self no, personally. It's, it's just yes or no. It's not a no. It's not a yes or no. It's it, it, everything. Like life is not like that. It's not no, a yes no, or this no. The, no, no. The life is not like yes or no. But the question that I'm no. asking you is, yes or no. <laughs> it's not more. Well, I came. I came. Is it a natural here. feeling? Is it a natural inclination that people may have if you standing on 12th Street again? I haven't gotten years? that from the people. Huh? I haven't gotten that from the people. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm exactly, but I'm saying with me, I'm exactly in that position, and the people don't treat me that way. They don't. So you, they don't approach me as if that's the truth. Okay, wait a minute. They don't. They. they wait a minute. I want to be clear here. If you committed a robbery on 12th Street, you exactly. You 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 got. I'm not saying you personally. I'm just using the figure of speech. You committed a robbery. It's possible. Okay, on 12th Street. It's possible. You got it's possible. A, you got arrested on 12th Street. Five years later, you come home and you're still hanging on 12th Street, the same block that you committed a crime. Is it natural for people to just assume, just assume, not accuse you, but just assume naturally that you're back to robbing people again because you're back on 12th Street? Is it natural to assume that? And when you assume, you make an ass out of you. I and didn't ask party. you what happens after you assume. When people assume, is it <laughs> for them to assume? Some people do. I didn't hear me it out. It depends man. on people's heart. Is it natural? That's to an inclination. Assume, Anthony, for some people, you're, you're, you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to come be combative with me, and I want a real answer from you. Is it natural I, no, to but, assume? But it is, is it natural to assume that you standing on the corner of 12th Street again? People are going to think that you're back to your old ways of robbing people. Is it that natural assumption? For some people, it is. Not for everyone, Marty. Everybody no, I didn't, I didn't ask you about the amount of people. I'm just saying people in general. Is it a natural assumption that but, people may have? It Because people, they think wickedly. They do. They think like that. People are like that. I, you know, so I guess it would be a natural assumption of some people. They right. people think that way sometimes. Okay. Okay, it don't make then. it true. So, don't make so, it right. so I want you to apply that same logic to Victor Conti. Victor it's Conti. It's different though. No, it's not. And I'm about to he's explain not, it to you. He's not doing it. If you let me. Okay. If you let me. If you let me. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Victor, Victor Conti, according to Tim Montgomery in the Netflix documentary, this is not something Manager Marty's pulling out the air and just making it up. Tim Montgomery said in the Netflix documentary, that Victor Conti was producing his legal products, ZMA and Snack, to the public in GMC stores and stores all around the world. Right. But he was giving people the impression that the supplements that he was selling were the same supplements that his athletes that worked out on his program were using, but behind the scenes, behind closed doors, they were not using those supplements that he was advertising to the general public. They were actually using HGH, EPO, insulin, the clear, and the cream, are, which were the undetectable substances. Correct? Right. Yes or no? Correct. Correct. So you heard. So you heard Tim Montgomery say that. Now, fast forward twenty years. Uh, twenty years later, right. Victor Conti is still selling ZMA products, snack products around stores around the world, and even right. online. And he's working with boxers even behind the scenes. 
So the right. question becomes, how do people know if he literally changed his life if the same environment that he got caught up with in the first time that indicted him is the same environment he's in now? In fact, he right. never even changed the name of the product. It's still called ZMA and it's still called Snack. He never changed, watch this, he never changed his marketing and his advertisement tool. And what I mean right. by that is this. Victor Conti had Tim Montgomery, Adrian Jones, Barry Bonds, and the other athletes wearing his merchandise to promote his legal supplements. The right. same way he's doing now with Devin Haney, Terrence Crawford, Caleb Plant, and the rest of them. So once True. again, how can somebody not naturally assume that the guy that was on 12th Street that got arrested for robbing people did four and a half months in federal pen penitentiary, gets out, and he's still hanging on the same corner with the same people on the same block of as 12th Street, and y'all getting an attitude, making it seem like people are delusional to naturally assume that he's back to his old tricks because he's standing on the same block of 12th Street. Make this make sense why. to me, Anthony. I'll tell you why, because... His his peers, the people that that are that are around him now, the peers, the people who who are always been in the industry, um, they have recognized his change. So, how do you the, know the, that? How do you it's, know it's, that? It's documented. It's documented. It's documented. That what? Let's He's, talk about that, it. About his advocacy, about his advocacy for the clean sport. It's documented by plenty of people, and they speak on it. It's, it's do you pretty, think it's you know, you, do you, you, think, you can do the Anthony, research yourself. Anthony, you seem like a smart guy. You gave me credit for being smart. I want to give you the same credit. You seem like a smart guy. Do you think it's a conflict of interest for Victor Conti, who's selling supplements and, and working out uh, his the fighters? Do you think it's a conflict of interest of him funding or being a part of the VADA testing protocol? I don't I don't think so. I don't believe so if, if you... If you believe, it's just a yes or no. But, it's just yes. No. It's just yes or no. Do you think it's a conflict? No, no, I don't think. I don't think so. No, I don't think okay. so. I, I got you.